light fixture is in for the bottom portion of the tank. I just went to uh, Home Depot and bought a 36 inch flat metal rod. Cut it down to size, cut it in half, then cut it down to size, and put um, basically two cross brackets underneath here, right there, is one, and then down there for the other. And then of course I did make it a permanent solution, um, so to speak, by putting uh, a couple globs of JB Weld on it. I just didn't want it to shift and have the light drop, possibly break, or go into the water. Um, this light is straight 120 volts. It doesn't have a DC power supply or anything, so I just I don't want that anywhere near the water. Um, I'd rather do something permanent that would take a while to break off and reshave if I ever wanted to change the setup, but then have 120 volts fall into the water. So that won't go nowhere. And it's not a big deal. I mean, if I ever do change this design, which I mean, I designed this not to be changed as far as the uh, dual tank setup. But if I ever do decide to uh, change something, I, that can be taken off and sanded off. It's not not that big of a detriment. So there's my hanging LED fluorescent light. 6000K light spectrum. There's my LED strip moonlighter. Moonlighting. And I am sitting on a bag of sand that will be going in here shortly. Um, Water's still pretty dirty, so I'm still uh, washing it out and everything else. I do, I, good thing or a bad thing, I'm not sure, but um, the Herbie's Ultra Silent Method, I can be kind of laxed on. I never did get it perfected, um, but, you know, I, I'm not at the stage of trying to perfect it yet. However, with the loud waterfall that I got going on um, I can be a little lenient on some of the sucking noise coming out of the pipe. I got it pretty good just every once in a while you'll hear a little bit of a drain and um, over the waterfall you, you know you can barely hear it at all So I'll just basically be fine-tuning that to um, get rid of some bubbles. The waterfall will definitely provide enough aerating into the water that I won't need any. Uh, I won't need the bubbles in the sand trap at all. So not too big of a deal. Just wanted to give an update on the lighting because that was the last thing I was working on. So the underneath lighting is installed. It cost me uh, basically three dollars for the flat metal piece, you know, and then of course I had JB Weld sitting around, but however much JB Weld cost. The fixture itself was 19 something at Home Depot. It's definitely not the uh, cheapest you could go, um, nor the most expensive. I just got something that was basically like a gunmetal gray, so it just wouldn't really show any wear or tear and was at least resistant to if I ever switched this over to salt water.
the two bulbs in it are $32 a bulb. That is plenty of light to light to grow any plant in there, so that'll be fine. 50 pound bag of sand was $3. The black sand I have in the upper, well, yeah, the reason why I went with black sand in the upper portion is just because I had it. Um, originally, when I was doing the piranha tank, I was going to do black sand because uh, color-wise, I figured it would really show the um, red bellies on the piranhas. It, they'd really stand out against a uh, black sand bottom. Um, ended up having a friend that was doing a tank and wanted black sand so he wanted to buy it all off me so I turned around and bought pool filter sand and threw that in my piranha tank and was going to uh, sell the um, black sand to him he ended up uh, losing his job and so his fish tank ideas pretty much went out the window he's got a new job now but doesn't get paid nowhere near as much so I just was stuck with a bunch of black sand that I didn't really have any use for so I decided to throw it in the upper tank just because that's really the only reason I will do play sand in the bottom here um, play sand to pool filter sand whichever one's cheaper um, it just so happens that the play sand happens to be cheaper right now last year the pool filter sand was cheaper so I went with pool filter sand this year uh, that raised up a little bit and now it's it's about three dollars cheaper to get play sand now I have to work on lighting on the top um, first right now I'm going to put the rocks and the sand in the bottom here and finish up the bottom I did work on the level the water level here a little bit before the water level is clear up here now it's down there um, you know ideally I'd like it to be right here but I'm not going to achieve that with the way I have the waterfall set up you guys can see probably the purple in there. I uh, cut away to lower the waterfall, or to lower the water level here. I had to cut away some of the foam back, foam back there, and now you can see the actual purple insulation foam um, kind of sticking out there. I'm not sure. It's not that much of an eyesore, but I'll, um, on one of the water drains, I will just splash some paint on it some waterproof paint, that uh, Krylon Fusion for plastic and stuff, just to get it on there and blend it in to make it less noticeable with that standout purple. Now up here, I wanted to show you guys the difference between the, uh, the dry lock, what happens when the dry lock gets wet. As you can clearly see, we have the color that the dry lock is advertised at and it's presented at whatever and then here we have it a huge visible white difference now I thought maybe when this first happened that this was uh, just kind of a coating that washed off perhaps you know it just wasn't really the color of it but in fact when I when I drain this um, it only this stuff only takes seconds to dry it will revert all this white down here will revert back to that color once it's dry so while it's wet it has this bone fossil white look to it it's kind of annoying <laughs> I, I would prefer the sand look but I don't know nothing I can really do about it now that was um, unexpected so I'm not gonna try to rip all that out, scrape it to paint it, and I'm not going to try to get paint or try to paint it in there while it's in the tank. So it's just we'll have to deal with that white sand look.
I don't know. Maybe this will just have to be a mock of White Sands out in Texas or New Mexico or wherever the hell that is. That old uh, military missile base. But yep, yeah, a little bit of an update there. All right, guys. I will have another update soon. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Take care.